What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome to the Sip Off Before Tip Off, where we're going to be talking about wine and the NBA Finals. I'm Mark Cunningham. You might recognize me from the Sip Off Before Kickoff, where we pair the new wine with the hard hitting game of football. That's right, folks. Even shows about wine deserve a spinoff. Over the years, I'm sure you've noticed the popularity of wine in the NBA. Tons of players are wine enthusiasts, some even have their own brands, and some even show up to the games sipping a little vino. And Clippers are coming up in a couple of minutes. LeBron James strolling in gingerly with a glass of this red is wine. First. Maybe a little this, sauce. This this is is. Now that that's all said and done, it's time to taste some wine and talk some hoops. But first, let's kick things off with a quick playoff recap that led us to the NBA Finals. One thing's for sure, we all knew the Golden State Warriors were not going to repeat as champions when Draymond Green knocked Jordan Poole into 2026 with that vicious haymaker. Now I know this is a show about wine, but it's quite obvious that Dylan Brooks ran back to the locker room after the Grizzlies beat the Lakers in game two of the semifinals and downed a fit the Henny before making this comment. I don't care, he's old. I poke bears. Um, I don't respect no one until they come and give me 40. I mean, for real, bro, out of all the bears to poke, I mean, Smokey the Bear, Winnie the Pooh, Yogi, hell, I'd even poke Cocaine Bear before I poke La Bear. I forgot to mention the Denver Nuggets, and apparently I'm not the only one. See, the head coach of the Denver Nuggets, Michael Malone, is a little upset that his team isn't getting the attention they deserve for making the NBA Finals. Well, if anybody's still talking about the Lakers and the NBA Finals, uh, that's on them. They've gone fishing, we're still playing. And, you know, the narrative should be on whatever two teams are still alive. I mean, I hate to say it, but he has a legit point. I mean, McDonald's, Wendy's, and Chick-fil-A Nuggets are getting more attention right now than the Denver Nuggets. Speaking of Chick-fil-A Nuggets, I bet those would pair very nice with a buttery Chardonnay. Hmm. Over in the East, the eight-seeded Miami Heat knocked out the top-seeded Milwaukee Bucks in the first round. I will say this about Giannis. After basketball, it's looking like he's going to have a promising career given TED Talks. He's not a failure. He steps to success. Not only did the Miami Heat make jerky out of the Bucks, they also got revenge for all the Dallas Cowboy fans around the country by eliminating Stephen A. Smith's New York Knicks in the second round. And lastly, after almost blowing a 3-0 lead, the Miami Heat toppled the Celtics in a lopsided Game 7. I mean, if we're being completely honest, I knew the Miami Heat were going to be good when Jimmy Butler revealed his cure for a bad game. We're going to listen to some music, you know, we're going to drink some beers back there, we're going to go have some wine. That was our playoff recap leading us to the NBA Finals matchup between the Denver Nuggets and the Miami Heat. And now for my favorite part of the show, a little wine tasting. Sure, you all know James Harden. He's a former NBA MVP and he's been to numerous NBA All-Star games. And as of late, he's kind of developed into a fashion icon who has the uncanny ability to get dressed in the dark and somehow he still comes out looking fresh. But did you know that Mr. James Harden has a Cabernet Sauvignon that's been lighting up the wine world from beyond the arc? Well, if you don't know, now you know because that's the wine we're going to be drinking today. Jay Harden's 2021 Cabernet Sauvignon. James Harden's Cabernet Sauvignon is a bold and robust wine with deep dark fruit flavors. The tannins are firm, providing the wine with a nice structure. This Cabernet Sauvignon is a slam dunk for fans of rich and expressive red wines. Alright, now it's time for the hardest part of the show. It's time to make a game one prediction. The Miami Heat versus the Denver Nuggets. Can the Heat do it one more time? Is their flame hot enough to cook a Denver five piece with no sauce? I think so, and I think they're going to do it. Miami Heat still game one and keep the Cinderella story going, just like I'm about to keep the wine tasting going. I'll see y'all back here for game two, and always remember, consume the vino with your pinkies up. Cheers.